Hi, it's Michelle Tiberge, and I wanted to give you an inspirational tip about organizing. So um, I'm going to make a confession. I'm actually taking a break from organizing because I'd much rather make YouTube videos than do my organizing. But it's really important to me to be organized. I love having things to be clean and orderly. So first of all, I'm going to show you my shelves. Now, if you're not neat and this is overwhelming to you, just don't stress, okay? The tip I'm going to give you is for beginners as well as advanced at organizing. So what I want to say is when you start organizing, do it in little small bites, little tiny chunks. So what I do is I set a timer and I'll set it for usually 25 minutes. But if you're completely daunted by organizing, start with 10 minutes. And you can always do more, but just, it's sometimes easier to get started if you think, oh, I only have to do this just 10 minutes and then I can go on to do something else that I'd rather do. But sometimes what happens is you set the timer for 10 minutes and then you're like, oh my God, this feels so good. I have to do more. And then you reset it again for 10 minutes. But I would never do more than 25 minutes at a pop. And if you want to do more, then stop, take a break, have a cup of tea, go on a little walk outside, call a friend for five minutes, check your emails, whatever, and then come back. Because it's a lot for our brain to absorb this decision making. A lot of people don't, realizing, um, don't realize that organizing is a lot of decision making. You have to decide, does this go there? Do I want to put this? Does this go in this category or that category? Or what am I going to do with this? And it's so easy to get distracted and lose focus. So I'm going to show you what I'm up to. <laughs> First of all, I got a bunch of stuff back from um, a show I was in and I'm getting it ready to take to a gallery tomorrow. So I had to sort through things and they packed things a little different than I would have, you know, putting things backwards in the, in the sleeve. So the folded thing, anyway, doesn't matter. But what I want to show you is like this little mess. So here's my whole shelf, which here's a, a tip for you guys is these boxes are great. And these are archival storage boxes. And you can see I have categories for my different types of drawing. I do a ton of drawings. So I have hundreds and hundreds of drawings in these boxes. And I label them all and organize them. Now down here, see this takes the place of flat files and a lot of people either don't have the space or don't have the funds for flat files. This is a way to get started with your organizing. Just invest in some of these archival storage boxes. And um, so this is actually my supplies here. You know, um, these are bags for storing drawings and things so when I have to pack them up to send them somewhere here's bags and boards archival boards um, glassine silicone release paper doesn't stick to acrylics glassine does stick to acrylics but it's great for interleaving between drawings and so forth anyway so here's all my stuff but look at this little corner ooh it's a mess I have boxes of paintings I just have to you know tidy this up make it look neat. I have to figure out where these go. I don't even know why they're sitting there. You know, I just want to get it back in order. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a little tiny challenge is set aside some time either right now if you're all excited and motivated to do 15 minutes of organizing or set aside some time this week and leave me a message in the comments on what you organized and how it went. And if you have any other tips, that would be great. So I'm gonna get back to my organizing. I think that was one, I think that's all I wanted to say. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I'm so honored when you guys subscribe and I get so excited in my inbox when people from all over the world, their names come in and I always, say hi to you. I know that sounds weird. You're not there with me, but I just welcome you to this community of artists who are interested in the stuff I'm talking about. And I just want to thank you for subscribing. Have a great day. Bye.